Good evening, Bookman Beacons. This is Dr. Hill with this week's message from the Hill. We certainly do miss seeing our face-to-face -face beacons. As of now, we are scheduled to return to school uh, for those who chose the face-to-face -face or in-person learning option on next Tuesday, um, January the 19th. We, as you may know, uh, our district level leadership called a special board meeting on last night to discuss whether or not we would move forward with that option. Perhaps by the time this beacon rolls out, we will have a definitive uh, answer to that question. But as of now, we are scheduled to return on next Tuesday. We look forward to seeing you all then. Um, if you would like to make a change to your learning module, meaning if you'd like to change from in-person to face-to-face -to -face or from face-to-face to, -face to uh, e-learning, we're encouraging you to send me an email at khill at richlands2.org. Uh, particularly those who are concerned about sending your students back face-to-face, -face, if you would like to be considered for an earlier uh, return to e-learning during this time, that's certainly within your parental right to do that. Once again, please just let your teacher know and touch base via email with me and we will get your students all squared away. Thank you for your attention to that matter. Now, on another, on another note, we would like to recognize some very important individuals in our school. This week, we were able to determine our Teacher of the Year finalists for the 2021-2022 uh, Bookman Road Teacher of the Year. Please join me in congratulating Mrs. Mindy McNeil, who is uh, one of our resource teachers here at Bookman Road, Mrs. Mandy Sharp, who is a third grade teacher here at Bookman Road, as well as Mrs. Stacy Omer, who was also a third grade teacher here at Bookman Road. As you probably know, these are phenomenal educators, uh, as well as all of our teachers here at Bookman Road. And we know that whoever is selected for next year's Teacher of the Year, they will represent us well. So once again, please join us in reaching out to them to share congratulatory messages. This concludes this week's message from the helm. Please remember, we are here for you. We are at school, uh, ready to receive your calls, your emails, any concerns or questions that you may have. We are readily available. So please feel free to just reach out and let us know how we can be of more assistance during this time. Thanks so much. In all things, remember we're beacons who light the way in personal character, academics, and community service. Have an awesome, awesome weekend.